So in this video, we're going to talk about how to solve linear equations. So we're going to be solving multi-step equations that have a variable on both sides. And there's a lot of steps involved in this process, so I like to use this mnemonic, don't call me after midnight. And what that stands for is we first start off by always distributing, then we combine like terms, move all the variables to one side of the equation, add or subtract to isolate the variable, and then multiply or divide to isolate the variable. You may or may not need to use all these steps in a problem, but what you do is if you, for example, don't need to combine like terms, you just skip it and move on to the next one. The main idea here is that you're going to go in this order so that you can keep everything organized. So let's try using these steps to solve this example. So we have 2 times 5x minus 1, so I'm going to start off by distributing that. So I have 10x minus 2. And then I have plus 5 equals 8x minus 1. Well now, let's go ahead and combine like terms. When you're combining like terms, you want to stay on either side of your equal sign. So things on the left combine and the things on the right combine. So we have 10x and then we have this minus 2 and plus 5 that are two constants, which we can combine to form plus 3. And that equals 8x minus 1. So now we are going to start moving things to the other side of the equal sign. So step 3 here with this moving the variable is where we start moving across our equal sign. So I have a 10x and an 8x. I'm going to try to move everything to the left. Whenever we're moving across the equal sign, remember, is when we have to do the opposite operation. So if this is an 8x, I'm actually going to move it by subtracting 8x from both sides. So when I subtract 8x from both sides, I have 2x plus 3 equals negative 1. So now I want to add or subtract to isolate the variable. So I have a plus 3, so I'm going to undo that by subtracting 3 from both sides. When I subtract 3 from both sides, I get 2x equals negative 4. Now I'm going to multiply and divide to isolate the variable. Well, I have a 2 times x, so I'm going to undo that by dividing both sides by 2. So that's going to give me x equals negative 2. So in this example, I happen to use every single step in this process, but this is the order in which you're going to go to solve for your variable. Okay, so now let's try this example. So here we have a multi-step equation, so I'm going to start off by distributing. So I have 4x minus 5 plus 7x plus 7 equals 6x plus 7. Now let's combine like terms, but remember when we're combining, we're staying on one side of the equation. So I have 4x and 7x that combine to form 11x, minus 5 and plus 7 that combine to form plus 2, and that equals 6x plus 7. Now I'm going to move all my variables to one side of the equation, so I'm going to move 6x by subtracting 6x from both sides, and that's going to give me 11x minus 6x, which is 5x plus 2 equals 7. And now I need to add or subtract to isolate my variable. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. So I have 5x equals 5. Now multiply, divide to isolate. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5, which is going to give me x equals 1. And that is now my final answer. So now you can go ahead and pause the video and try doing this example on your own. So here we have negative 10x plus 3 times 4x minus 2. So I'm going to start off by distributing. Negative 10x plus 3 times 4 gives me 12x. Minus 3 times 2 is 6, and that equals 6. Combining like terms means I'm going to put together negative 10x and 12x to give me 2x. Minus 6 equals 6. And now I need to add or subtract to isolate my variable. Notice I didn't need the m step to solve this problem. So like I told you, you don't always need to use every step. So I have 2x equals 6 plus 6, which is 12. Now I need to divide. Divide both sides by 2, which is going to give me x equals 6. And that is now my final answer.